would you like to briefly introduce yourself, who you are, your position, and the organization that you work with? I'm Sean Zay. I recently graduated from UTM in 2018. Um, I am the Community Engagement and Volunteer Development Manager at Eden Food for Change. We are an organization dedicated to increasing food access and increasing it in a dignified manner within Mississauga, um, as well as developing food skills to encourage healthy eating and empowering our community through advocacy, education, and outreach, essentially. And uh, we run a community-centered food bank. Amazing. Uh, so, as we all know, we have a health pandemic going on that is affecting all of us professionally and personally. Uh, on the professional end, I wanted to ask what kind of new crises are being faced as a result of the pandemic with Eden and perhaps uh, the sort of organizations that operate like Eden within the community? So even before the COVID-19 pandemic, food security was a major concern within Canada. There were about one in eight Canadians that were having a hard time putting food on the table. That's because a lot of Canadians rely on government support, including welfare and disability checks, to afford food and meet their basic necessities. Um, during the COVID-19 pandemic, we're, we're having an even higher amount of people relying on government support and CERB payments, which has led to an increase in the amount of food bank users and people that are relying on us to be able to provide a good source of food for them. Um, so Food Banks Canada, for instance, is projecting that by the time that CERB payments stop in September, we're going to see about a 30% increase in the number of people that use the food bank to access food. And even, and even over the last few months, we're seeing more, more people come in come in to us and normally we serve a specific portion of Mississauga but over over the pandemic we're trying to get trying to help as many people as we can and we've tried to increase our reach in that way as well so I think a lot of food banks and food agencies are having um, essentially an increasing amount of people coming to us so we're we're having to adapt the amount of food that we're giving out because um, because normally food banks give about three to five days a week we're doing really well in that we give about seven to days seven to ten days worth of food to people when they come to mm -hmm. us um, but essentially we are also looking to increase that so doing that with 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 less volunteers to help us out because of social distancing um, at the same time as all, at the same time also expecting donations to drop over the next little while as as CRB payments stop so um, so yeah that's essentially where the struggle comes in so transitioning into kind of more recent changes that uh, Eden Food for Change will have had to commit to because of the pandemic, what are you most proud of when it comes to your organization's response? Honestly, what I'm most proud of is our team. We have an exceptional team over here, not only in our staff, but especially the volunteers. Um, so essentially before COVID-19, we had a we had a community centered food bank model where essentially people would come in and they would sit together and talk and you know have a good time and they and getting the food essentially was like going through a grocery store and mm -hmm. shopping essentially for what you wanted which because of social distancing and you know the health concerns that come with COVID-19 we're not able to do so we've had to revamp our entire model to emergency emergency preparedness model which includes food hamper systems so basically when a person comes in depending on their family size they get food hampers and each food hamper includes um, non-perishable items it, it includes fresh items like milk eggs all of that stuff it includes frozen meats and and all of that stuff, fresh produce, breads, and and snacks, essentially. So everyone everyone gets all of these things in different quantities based on their family size. And so, as you can imagine, we serve about 480 families a month. And so, just the amount of food that we go through and having to pack that in different hampers and making sure that they're ready before each shift and that they're be and that we accurately accurately account for the number of people that are coming to us it's it's a massive task and I, i'm so impressed by the volunteers that um not only have they been coming regularly they've also increased the amount of time that they th they've been coming to us so they'll come three four times a week and they're so dedicated to what they do and i'm i'm so thrilled that you know they genuinely care about the organization and the fact that we're trying to help our community over here so i'm um, just incredibly proud of that and you know um, 
And we've been working hard and we're incredibly grateful for the community support that we've had during this time. We've had a lot of people coming towards us and looking for ways to help out, which is amazing and just great to see. So that's really nice to hear that there's just a really good team of like people that are there both uh, more permanently and then the volunteers too. In terms of unique response pieces, what is being done by Eden for managing the health concerns of volunteers and staff as they continue to keep the food bank operational? Yeah, so um, during this time, first of all, we're taking all the recommendations given to us by Pew Public Health to make sure that we account for um, good social distancing uh, procedures where uh, where it is possible, as well as, you know, making sure that we're sanitizing everything. Now, as I mentioned, we used to do a community-centered uh, food bank model where people would come in and they would spend some time in the food bank. Now we've, cha we've changed that entire model where we only let one person in at a time. We essentially don't even, we don't even touch their cards. Um, no one actually comes in close contact with the, with the food bank member. We, uh, the volunteers grab the food hampers, they place them in the cars themselves um, without, you know, getting too close to the members. Um, they're essentially they're essentially limiting the amount of time that members are in contact with volunteers. I want to say about uh, a minute or two of uh, members in and out, and it used to be a long time where they would just hang out before. And so um, and so we've done that and we're again like using sanitization procedures, social distancing, um, all that stuff. In what ways can members of the community still get involved in health? During COVID-19, we've had to limit the number of volunteers that we have available. So as far as volunteering goes, we have quite a bit of a wait list right now in terms of people wanting to volunteer. So. Um, if, if someone is interested, you're more than welcome to uh, jump on that wait list by signing in the form online. One of the other ways that you can help right now is by uh, conducting fresh food drives, essentially contactless food drives. If you know of a community, um, a real, let's say your church or mosque or anyone that you're affiliated with that would be able to help, you know, um, get get access to some non-perishable food items that we can give out to food bank members. That's definitely one of the ways that you, you can help out during this time. Um, again, aside from that, um, there are a number of things that we do normally, which includes employment training for people looking to get into the food industry. We have a learning mm -hmm. kitchen where groups coming to um, make food for you know, food bank members and events committee, board of director, um, you know, food bank volunteering in general. So uh, lots of opportunities over here and a lot of which we're very much looking forward to getting back once COVID-19 uh, COVID pandemic kind of resolves itself or once we get the go ahead from Peel Public Health at least. Are there any resources or links that you know of that you could share to help students looking to get involved? For sure. Um, well, first of all, uh, as far as resources go, um, I do want to point out that while we're speaking about Eden Food for Change, I know that as students are, you know, studying a lot, uh, some of, many of them are living on their own and are having to manage a lot of financial responsibility at this age. And, and I do want to state that if there is anyone, any of you that is having a hard time right now, um, making ends meet or having a, getting access to food, I would highly encourage you to please visit our website at EdenFFC.org. Um, if you need food support, we're here to help you. Um, if you live in a family that is having a hard time, uh, you know, uh, getting, getting access to basic necessities during this time, please do not use your credit card debt to, uh, to purchase food or basic personal care items. Please come to us, let us help you so that you're in a stronger position to take care of yourselves when this, once this pandemic resolves itself. Um, secondly, if you, um, if you are looking for other resources in terms of uh, mental health support or any external resources, financial services or income support, things like that, if you go onto our website, there is a link under other resources that you can go to that has a list of all of the um, resources in Mississauga or our surrounding area in the Peel region. So if you need access to any of those, that is all accessible to you. Um, and then in terms of students looking to get involved um, in volunteerism during this time, um, while 
at Eden Food for Change, as I mentioned, we do have quite a bit of wait lists for people looking to volunteer. There is another organization called Volunteer MBC where they go ahead and place volunteers with different pro uh, nonprofit organizations within um, within the Peel region essentially where uh, where they're looking for support so you're more than welcome to check out their website if you're looking to do something right now uh, while you're at home and free um, and they and you can go through all of the job postings on their website as well